Today we will be looking at interpreting graphs of functions. There are several vocabulary terms we need to be aware of. X-intercept, Y-intercept, and symmetry. The x-intercept also has other names that it goes by. We also call that zeros. We call that solutions and roots. So x-intercept is, as the name implies, it is where the graph intercepts the x-axis. The y-intercept, same thing. It is where your graph will intersect the y-axis. Symmetry is when you can fold something in half and it's the same on both sides. So we'll be looking to see if these graphs, what their x-intercepts are, what their y-intercepts are, what those might mean, and if they have any symmetry to them. So looking at the first graph of lawn mowing services, we see that the x-axis tells us about time and the y-axis tells us about a profit for this service. Our x-axis is here at four weeks. So our x-intercept is the point four, zero. And this is our zero because the value of y is zero and it is a root to this equation or to this graph. So it took four weeks for this lawn mowing service to have a profit of zero. Previous to that, between zero and four weeks, you can see that they were down here in the negatives. So their y-intercept was negative 400. So before they even started, they had spent $400 on their business. And after four weeks, they broke even, and after that, they began to turn a profit. If I took and looked for a center point here and tried to fold this over, I'm not going to have the same thing on both sides, so this does not have symmetry. The next graph is vehicle depreciation. Looking at the x-axis, we see that that is the year since we have purchased a vehicle, and the y-axis tells us the value of that vehicle, and we will come back to the x-axis and the x-intercept in just a moment. Let's look at the y-intercept. Looks like that they originally bought the car for $20,000, so the first year they owned it, the vehicle was worth $20,000. Over time, the value of the car depreciated. It went down. And you can see how it curves down, and then it looks like this is getting pretty flat and becoming very close to parallel with the x-axis. That is because the vehicle will never reach zero dollars because something on the vehicle can always be sold. The axle, the engine, headlights, whatever it can. So this, it can have some sort of value. So there will be no intercept, no x-intercept for this one because there will always be a value, it will never reach zero. If I try to fold this to make um, some sort of a symmetrical design, it's not going to happen with this one, so there's also no symmetry here. Our final example is company advertising we have another curve and this time it looks like we have two x-intercepts one occurring over here at let's see this is eight four so maybe at one at negative one zero and the other one is occurring over here at twenty one zero estimating since this is counting by fours you have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and this is a little bit past that so we'll go with 21. So those are the x-intercepts. 
and then we have our y-intercepts, our y-intercept I should say, because it only intersects the y-axis one time, and that's right here, and it looks like we're counting by tens. So this is just under 10, maybe at 8. So when x is 0, y would be approximately 8. So let's look at what those might mean. So when we have advertising expense in thousands of dollars, so at 0,000, so that gives us a y, at no spending, we have a profit of $8 and advertising expenses, it goes over and gets over here at $21 um, dollars spent, or $21,000 spent, we haven't got any profit again. So somewhere between this zero and this 21 is going to be where we're making profit. We can tell that because it curves up. The y-intercept over here at 0, 08 tells us that before we spend any money we've made eight dollars and anything to the left of that with the negative intercept is really not applicable in this real world situation. So then we go over to the idea of symmetry. If we took and folded this graph right along this line here, we would have symmetry. This point here being our maximum profit, so this graph would have symmetry because if I folded it, this curve would match this curve. 